<laughs> That's cool. Do you want to heft it? Sure, absolutely. There. The balance is terrible. And, and it's weird to me that the handle is horizontal, not vertical. Yeah, it doesn't. I, it ought to be vertical. Yeah, I, I think one on one. You want to have it be vertical so you can push in and out, whereas here it's very awkward to push in and out unless it's low. Or, and here it's also very awkward because you can't move it in front of your body uh -huh. and push out. You want it like here so that you can push out. Right. So uh, this is a really good museum and they have done this wrong and this is still no, a really good museum. this is actually accurate. No, it is. It is. You're kidding. No. It's an odd thing about Roman shields. So this uh, horizontal bar, Viking shields are vertical, yeah. um, normal round shields, but these ones are always horizontal. Why? No idea. Clearly there's some reason for it because that seems like an obvious fix. Yeah. Think. Well, and also the balance is just off too. Mm -hmm. right? Like I can't think that as being a good balance. It's, it's a too. weird shield. You know, it might be, you know, with Greek shields, those are still to the arm, but those ones are designed to protect half of you and half of the next guy. So maybe if it's off to the side of you. Well, no, because Roman shields aren't to do that. Mm, true, because it's maniple. It, it protects you, right? And so, so okay, I'm just going to imagine that the balance is different. Let's see. Can I? Well. You know, if I hold it to the side, it's, it's a little less if I'm, if I'm diagonal. You know, well, here's something, is if I brace it with my elbow, right, then I can kind of, I can kind of see this, but it leaves me, you know, I'm, I'm, this is too far, right, although, I don't know, I'm imagining, like, rotating in and out. Mm -hmm. And maybe that works. Mm. Right. Um, what I'm thinking is that, if I, if I hold it like this, it's actually pretty conveniently placed because it goes almost all the way up to my chin. I can still see. That's a good place for a shield to be right here, you know? Um, but the problem is that my back is, is pretty exposed, right? If you're my enemy, then my back is pretty exposed to everyone over there, right? I would, I would want to be a little bit more square, I think. Yeah. Right? But uh, maybe this works really well to block step forward and thrust? I don't know. It's just a strange thing. I can kind of like come in and out like a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> right, and that also seems to work really well with the curved shield design where like, I can come over here, right, and half of my body is still covered, uh -huh. and I can thrust, right, retreat, come out, still most of my body is covered even when I'm attacking. Yeah. Right, and in fact, I can, you know, I, I, I'm starting to like that a little bit. You know, maybe that is a, maybe that's why the horizontal thing, because you know, assuming this is a roughly life-size shield, right? Like I'm imagining holding it here, mm -hmm. maybe just a little bit higher. Right? Yeah. And, um, and that actually, that's working for me. I'm digging that. Interesting. Let me try it on the other side real fast. To, don't want to. I can, I can see it. Maybe I can see that working. Awesome. Really stable work. Well, I've had all the pointy things today. Oh, the testudo. Oh, hey, maybe that's why. That the horizontal handle seems to be better for the testudo. Uh, it's, it's weird. I've got my elbow braced up in order yeah. to do. I was I was doing the same thing. Do you want to show the brace again? Yeah. The elbow brace. So. I end up holding it like this with my elbow pointed upward, braced against the back of it in order to use it in a useful way. But if I was, honestly, if I was fighting one-on-one -on -one with somebody, this starts going like this. Huh. And then it's not awesome. Maybe, maybe it is like this. That is interesting. So Well, I'm also thinking about how large of a shield it is. Yeah. Right? Comparatively speaking, so I'm thinking maybe it's not intended to be mobile, right? And even if I can just hold it here by my side, right, I can still rotate my body pretty easily yeah. to shield and to thrust. So I can't help but wonder if maybe maybe it's just a shield designed to be used in a different way. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's almost like half of a tower shield. Like this sounds, looks to me like it would be really good against projectiles and more difficult to use in one-on-one -on -one combat. Yeah. Um, if I wanted something for one-on-one -on -one combat, it would be smaller. Well, but flatter. what about what about team-on-team -team combat? 
which is seems to be what this is for. Especially um, shields are particularly good against projectiles, so arrows, spears, javelins, that sort yeah. of thing. And for that, um, this is an umbrella. Yeah. This is one really serious umbrella. Um, and it seems like a pretty handy way to carry it too, with that the handle yeah. tilted that way. I, I I could go ways that way. Yeah. Um, also, this kind of here. Yeah. I I can lift my elbow up like that, and I'm here. This is really interesting. Uh, the design of a shield is, I mean, a shield is not just a shield. A shield also is optimized. It has to work with all the things in its environment. Yes. It has to be good for the soldier. It has to be good for the offensive weapon. It has to be good for all the soldiers next to you. It has yeah. to be bad for your opponents. It has to be the kind of thing you can carry on the road. Yes. Uh, it has to be made of the right materials that you have available. Um, it has to fit with all the things in its environment. Yeah. There's two things there. One is um, anything that doesn't work well in combat doesn't get used anymore because the stakes are too high to mess up. Well, yeah, you, you just yeah. die. You, you die. I mean, and then you don't get to use it anymore. Evolutionary selection is pretty harsh on the battlefield. But the second thing is, um, you know, it has to it has to work. It has to work well in such a way that a soldier doesn't want to throw it away, even when they're not fighting. So, I mean. When you're on march, on campaign, on all these other things, it needs to be so useful and or so required, but really so useful that a soldier decides, yeah, it's worth carrying around. Either worth carrying around all the time for that one time I'm going to use it, or useful often enough and good enough that it's not yeah. horribly inconvenient.